Hey guys, here in my studio. Um, I'm excited about some new paintings that I've done of things that I'm passionate about, things here on our farm, and uh, in the surrounding areas that I, that I love so much. I just wanted to share it with you. So here are some of the paintings I've done in the past few weeks. And I want to tell you why I'm excited about them, and then I'll show you up close. I was having actually a really difficult time, <laughs> you know, just being torn between so many different things. And I, I realize this often happens to me. And I, I always know the answer, kind of intuitively, but I, it, I still find it hard to do this. And I, I think maybe some of you have experienced the same things in your lives. Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, so a lot of you probably can relate to, to this. There's just so much going on that it's difficult to to focus on just one of them and to get anything done sometimes. And I was having this kind of day anyway. Maybe this doesn't happen to you, and if, if not, then you know you're a different kind of personality. <laughs> Lucky you. Um, but I realized that I needed to be painting. I wanted passionately, passionately wanted to be painting. I just need to. I have to as part of my life being alive. But I also have all these responsibilities um, on the farm and of course with my family and, I, and I'm passionate about those too. But um, I emphasize the art only because I don't usually allow myself to do it as much as I need to, if that makes any sense. So I was having this kind of day and I decided, well, with Laura Jean's help, to just go outside and paint and don't worry about the other stuff for a little while and just try to get some something done until I feel better. And I realized very quickly that I needed to be getting, not just painting as a pastime um, done, not just to pass the time, but actually some really good paintings. And I needed to get several of them done so that I could feel confident again in my ability to produce good work because artists are sometimes hard on themselves. So that's how these tiny paintings came about. So I was, um, what did I, which one was the first one? So this little one of this house, this is only, uh, I think it's four by five inches. And I was able to capture the colors and, you know, just the, oh, the, the feeling of really being there. You know, I look at this and I, I remember every smell and sound and, you know, it really feels like the lighting that was there. And then I turned just barely to the left and I saw this um, this amazing old barn. And it was an overcast day, but there was a little bit of light in the distance and, uh, you know, these little bits of snow on the ground. And um, anyway, before before the day was out, I had, I had completed nine paintings, um, all of similar you know, the same spot, but kind of emphasizing different parts of those scenes that, uh, that appealed to me. You know, in this one, it was the color when the light came out, just for a moment. And I was exploring this, just the design and emphasizing the, the awesome yellow colors here. And it was just such a fun experience that over the next few days, I ended up doing a whole bunch of these. This isn't all of them, but... Um, you can see how, hopefully you can see how much fun I had, you know, just exploring different favorite scenes that perhaps I couldn't get this much passion into in a large canvas. Well, these are for sale. Feel free to go over to my website, which is trentgoodmanson.com. The link is right down there or rather the <laughs> you can read it off of there put it in your browser or the link is below in the description and uh, you can go see them up close on my website I appreciate the, the texture that is in them and if you want to purchase it any of them there's another one of buttercup our cow, we just had our baby in our house at nighttime <laughs> with the full moon in the winter. I thought it was beautiful. And this is just a beautiful mountain scene nearby here. Um, 
So if you want to purchase them, they are relatively affordable. These 4x4s, like this one of one of our hens, uh, this size is $250. And here I have these ones framed. The ones that you see here framed just for our viewers here on the YouTube channel. Man, there's just so much in these small ones that... Oh, look at that beautiful texture. I'm so passionate about the life that that we live here in the country on this homestead. I love animals, I love gardening, and I also, I just love paint. I love the thickness of it, I love the uh, texture, I love the the drippiness of, of watered down paint, or thinned down. Here's Banjo in a nearby little field of poppies at a neighbor's house over the summer. <laughs> anyway, so these range from $250 up to $700, and uh, I invite you to look at them, and uh, please uh, pass along that information to others who you may know that may be interested in art. After all, this is how we support our, <laughs> our other passion of homesteading, and, um, and of course I'm not trying to sell you on anything that that you don't want to purchase, but if you aren't so inclined, I just wanted to offer these to you. All right, so I'm gonna get to work painting more of these. If you're interested in seeing the process, I'm actually going to be painting um, or videoing the actual uh, real-time process and posting them on my other channel, just called Trent Goodmanson, it's my name, you're on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so I will bid you Farewell for the moment, and thanks for watching our, this video and others. Um, again, head, in, head over to my website if you're interested, and I also have a newsletter sign-up form. All I have to do is just enter your email, and I'll send out uh, probably every couple every couple weeks a little update as to what I'm doing. So thank you, and uh, next one will be uh, probably one about our calf again. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye. Thank you.